In this video, I'm going to cover map intelligence. And I've already touched on this a bit here and there in a few of uh, these uh, boot camp series videos. But I just wanted to go over it with a little bit more detail in this one. So if you don't have a radio and you hit M, uh, you're going to get a limited amount of uh, map intelligence. Meaning we're going to see the default stuff that you can always see, which is primarily everything here and up. Uh, we're not going to see these items unless we have radio towers up and unless we ourselves are also carrying a radio. Uh, so we're seeing some items here. And the reason for that is because this is the home base and we're, we're near it. Uh, we can also see here that we have two radio towers here and here. Uh, and we're not seeing anything else. Uh, we have already captured Sataria. When I say we, I mean the Colonials. So we, you, we, you have this slight transparent circle around it indicating basically a line of sight transmission for having control over this area. Uh, if we look down here, we see the same thing, only in this case, the transparency is centered on these two items here. And these are radio towers. We'll go over and take a look at one of them. They look like this. And with that color flag for the Colonials and for the Wardens, it will be a blue flag. So it, we call it a radio tower, but it really acts more like a, a radar detector because it sort of sends a signal out and pulls in information about our surroundings. So I'm going to go grab a radio right now. Hopefully there are some in here. And there are plenty, so I'm going to grab one of these. I guess I should have time warped that. Move up here where it's not quite as noisy. And we're going to equip the radio. And now we hit M again. And now we can see more information than what we had before. Uh, we can see what we saw before, but we can see more. And we can also see that there are some additional radio towers that other players have put up already. Here, here, and here. There's three of them. Um, there isn't one over here. Uh, we should have one there since we're, we're since we have an FOB there. We have an FOB here and someone has had the foresight to go ahead and put in a radio tower. And you can see we have a few defenses set up here too, as indicated over here in the uh, map legend. If we move up further, we have Sataria, one of the victory town conditions. And uh, we have a few defenses set up here. So even though there aren't any, any radio towers, oh, we can see a, a warden just peeking barely within range of the radio tower. So even though before we could see that there is a transparent circle around here representing the range that can be read, we didn't really see any of these other items until after we equipped the radio. Now don't confuse the handheld radio with, the, uh, with this item, the radio backpack. The radio backpack is more or less for transmitting and for map information rather than receiving, although it can also be used to receive. Uh, it is, it is, however, quite heavy. So if you just want to know what's happening on the map, stay away from the uh, radio backpack and just go for the radio itself. And this is a passive item. You don't have to do anything with it other than equip it. Once it is equipped, then it will work. It's the same with the radio towers that uh, I don't think I can see it from here. A little bit too dark but we can barely see it here it's the same with the radio towers if you're building them you don't have to do anything other than build them and they will work passively now in addition to the radio towers and uh, some of these uh, victory town condition or victory towns there's another item that will also give you map intelligence. It's called the observation tower. It looks like this on the map. I don't think there are any on this specific map. This isn't an item that you can build from scratch. This is an item that is static 
and that you have to build up once you find it. And I don't see any here. Uh, I know there are some on the uh, mainland maps. I also know there is one on Tempest Island. Uh, I don't think we get the world map here. Yeah, not during a skirmish. However, controlling an observation tower is extremely advantageous. Uh, if you had a, an observation tower here, rather than give us coverage of about this much as seen by the transparent circle, it would be about out to here, and it would give us roughly this much coverage, which is really good coverage for just one item. They do have to be built up, and they can only be built up using a construction vehicle or a CV. So, looking at the map now, I'm trying to determine if there is a need for radio tower coverage, and obviously there is. So, between here and here, we really want to have this entire area lit up with radio towers so that we can see what's going on, because anyone that wants to make a trip from here to bring up supplies to here is going through is going to drive through a lot of uh, blind spots and that's dangerous because that's just an opportunity for the wardens to come in here and sit next to the road and ambush logistics so I'm going to uh, make a vehicle and get some beam mats and see if I can put up a couple of towers uh, just so you can kind of see that process so I'm not going to record all of this portion. Actually, are there bee mats in here right now? Oh, there are. It's enough for me to get a vehicle going. Uh, I'm not going to record this entire section. I'm going to time warp. Uh, if you want to know how to create a vehicle, uh, you can look at one of the past. Someone's putting items in there right now. I'm just going to grab them. And um, that saves time having to wait to assemble them, by the way. So some people will do it that way. So if you want to see on how to collect BMATs and how to make a vehicle, you can reference back on some of the other videos within the boot camp series. And for now, we're going to time warp. Okay, so I have a vehicle, and I have BMATs, and I have some fuel. A little tip, though. Usually, whenever you're specifically going out to build radio towers, you're placing them in blind spots. You can see someone else has already been doing what I was planning to do as well, and they've reached this point. They're probably going to put one around here as well, or maybe I can beat them to it. There's a blind spot here too, though, so we could use a radio tower here. And, of course, any area surrounding this immediate area, including up to the White Wing. However, when building radio towers and blind spots, there's a bit of a danger, and that is because you don't know if there are wardens in the area or not. That's kind of the point of putting up the radio towers. So because of that, you and your truck can get ambushed by wardens. So I, as a little tip, I don't recommend bringing lots of BMATs with you. Now, I know from experience that a tower takes 60 BMATs to build. So... 120 I can get up to. I'm not going to take any more beam mats than I need for than just for just a couple of towers. That way, if I do lose this transport vehicle, I don't also lose all of these beam mats that somebody else could use. So I'm putting them in the port base instead. Uh, I also don't typically travel with more than about 30 fuel, so I'm going to put 10 of those in here as well. 10 to left click, or uh, you can just left click to move units of 10 in this case. So now. If and when I do get killed and lose a transport, I'm not losing a lot and giving it to the enemy. Alright, so I've driven up to the spot. We're right about here. I'm going to drop a radio tower right behind this location. So if I exit the vehicle, I can now access it with the... And I just need some BMATs. Equip a hammer. And then walk very slowly over here because B mats are heavy and I think I'll put it right about here. If I hit B now the build menu comes up and I can choose the actually they're called watchtowers right here and I can right click to rotate it. Do notice not connected to a base so it will decay however that takes a while so in the meantime we can be picking up map intelligence. And then like everything else you build you just hold left click 
with the hammer equipped to continuously build. And just a few more swings here and it should be done. Last one. We have a new watchtower. And now if I hit M, well, we're not seeing a circle yet. Sometimes it takes a minute. There it is. So now we see we have new coverage. So completing the trip from Harristown up to Blackwing without any blind spots, which is helpful. Not sure what these two guys are doing over here. There's someone in, directly in front of me. Since I have enough BMAS, I'm going to go ahead and cruise up here and place one more. However, I think for the sake of the video, I'm going to uh, I'm just going to stop there. Um, that's an overview of map intelligence, what you need to read the map, and what you need to make sure that uh, map intelligence is getting sent to every player that has a radio.